Hey folks, Nass here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty in our Season 5. So as you can see on the, the screen there, we've got our kingdom for a chicken that we need to get done today. Uh, I did go and purchase the rest of the wheat that I needed. Everything that we need for this, so the 100 wheat, the 50 meat, and the 25 fish meat are all in the proper storages. So I should be able to go and talk to my wife and have her actually go tell the uh, Herald that we're able to turn this, uh, complete this quest. Miss Bernadette. How is life treating you? Oh, let's see. Want something to nibble on? Eat this. Oh, our affection is going down with her. Okay, thank you. Uh, you know what? Let's... Let's do this. Let's, uh, let's see. I have a favor to ask of you. I think I had still have that coverlet I had mentioned a couple of episodes ago that we might be able to give to her to bring her affection up. Uh, let's see. I have a favor to ask of you. Could you inform the Herald that we fulfilled the King's request? So that's the one right there. Perfect. We got our 501 dynasty reputation. Be well, my love. Kingdom for a chicken is complete. So that saves us from riding all the way out to Hornica to turn that in to the Herald. Now, I want to go back over here to the storage unit and see if I kept that coverlet uh, that we might be able to give to her as a gift. Uh, let me run in here and see. I think I did. Do, do, do. And let's see, apparel? No. Coverlet. There it is. Oh, and I have four figurines. Oh, I did sell the 18 figurines from the last episode, and I made a little over 400 coin off of them. So we'll take those, and I can sell those. Let's grab that coverlet, and let's head back up to my wife and see if we can give this coverlet to her and increase our affection with her. Alrighty, Miss Bernadetta. Uh, let's see. Let me take a closer look at you. Favor... You move a little, doing well, maybe romance. Ah, yeah, right here. I've got a little something for you. Or excuse me, I ha I've got you a little something. Uh, yeah, so I can give her the coverlet. Uh, let's see, F is give gift. There we go. And it brought her affection up to 100% to Ian. So we got 10 points for it, so we could have actually let her, her affection drop a little bit. But that's good. We found that coverlet somewhere. Let's see. Never mind. Be well, my love. Day. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So we got her back up to 100%. Uh, as you can see there on the right-hand side of the screen, we have the Elwyn Story 1 that we still have to wait for summertime because we're still in spring. So next season we'll be able to work on that one. Uh, let's see. And then all we have right now is the Unigas Story 4. Uh, where we have to go and deliver the mysterious not warm parcel to Walrand, uh, which we're going to do today. Uh, now, I've been, um, I ran into a bug the last time I tried to do this quest, which was several episodes ago, and I ended up not even publishing that video. I completely had to redo the video. But I believe they have the uh, quest or at least the bug I ran into, I believe they have that uh, fixed. So we're going to actually go and try to complete uh, this portion of the quest today. Now, I've also been working on trying to get uh, the Steam achievements. So I, I want to try to get 100% of the Steam achievements. So I've actually been working on those. In doing so, I, you know, doing my research and stuff like that, uh, there is a portion of this quest line that is actually tied to a particular achievement. So this could be a spoiler for some, <laughs> and it may not be a spoiler for some of you as well, but I'm going to attempt to actually get that achievement today so i will uh talk about that here shortly i will announce uh, in the video i'll give some kind of indication in the video 
that uh, the spoiler is coming. That way you can either skip ahead if you don't want to see the spoiler uh, or whatnot. But at least that way you're, you're going to be a little bit prepared. But I am going to be trying to get the particular achievement that is tied to this particular quest line. Alrighty, here we are in Tutki, and uh, real quick, speaking of about achievements, since I just gave my wife a gift this year, there is an achievement called Happy Wife, Happy Life, and if you give your wife a gift for two following years, so in other words, I would have to give her a gift next year, so I would probably say spring of next year. Uh, it should unlock that achievement for me. So I'll just, I'll have to remember to give her a gift again next spring to see if I can get that, that achievement. So I wanted to bring that up real quick since we were talking about achievements. So, uh, let's see here. I need to exit my little donkey and we need to go out and find Rolrin. Looks like he is going to be out in the field. And what I am going to do, where's he at? Yes, he is. Then him in the field. Yeah. So I'm going to do an F5 because that's going to be kind of important for me <laughs> to try to get this achievement. Uh, so spoiler incoming. Just so you know, spoiler is incoming. This is going to be we're going to be working on the hidden achievement for Steam. So if you actually go to the, the Medieval Dynasty and go to the achievement section and scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see that there is one hidden achievement, um, which is tied to this quest. Well, I'll be damned. Excuse me? One is bright, the other dark, both filled with a spark. Your eyes, you must be Rasimir. Well, it's actually Ras. Never mind. How do you know my name? I knew your uncle Jordan. Besides, I've always been good with names. <laughs> Ran a guest. <laughs> Boy, he is on point today. Let's see. Uh, what are you doing here? I would never think to see you in the flesh. Sambor sent me to you. He asked me to deliver this parcel. Oh, my sweet child, I would throw that away immediately if I were you. What? Why? Well, taking that I know this guy for over 20 years and that I can smell this parcel from over here, I can guarantee, I can guarantee you that it contains his feces. <laughs> Gross. What the heck is wrong with him? Uh, haha. Ha. Well, he couldn't fool a master prankster, but he sure pulled one on you. A number two. Ha ha. That's extremely childish, or I guess it's kind of funny. Ha ha. Uh, let's see here. You know what? Let's go with number two. I've been doing practical jokes to this sack of muscles for decades. If you could only see some of my best work. Good memories. Yeah, I bet. Anyway, I hope that bag of crap wasn't the only thing that brings you to me. Of course not. I've been actually talking with Unigost and Sambor about the pack. So you know, amazing. I was afraid that I would let the cat out of the bag. We had to be very careful not to share our business with anyone. Always trying to be invisible, anonymous. Well, that must have been weird for Jordan when he became the Castilian. All this attention. My uncle was the Castilian? Yes, he was. And Unigas took over that position after he died. Didn't you know that? No, Unigas never mentioned it. Must have slipped his mind. I would love to hear more stories. I'm trying to learn as much as I can about my uncle. Good thing you found me then. I love reminiscing all the adventures of the menacing phantoms. Menacing phantoms? <laughs> <laughs> another another name of the pack, apparently. That was the name of the pack. They didn't tell you that? Those old farts and their memory problems. I'm going to tell you all about it. But first, I need your help. You see, a large pack of wolves formed in the forest nearby. 
I'm afraid that they will attack us at any moment now. Oh my, that sounds really serious. It is. That's why I need to build a palisade as soon as possible. I already have a plan for it. It won't be as much a palisade as a wooden maze around Tuki. That way the wolves will get lost, confused, and less likely to attack. We have two options. What an amazing idea. Well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Uh, let's go with, um, let's go with that doesn't sound right. I've got all the necessary tools. All I need are some logs and that's where I need your help. Sure thing. I can help you gather some materials. How much logs do you need? I believe a thousand will do a thousand. You can't be quickly. Ram, pam, pam. <laughs> There's no time to waste in dialogue. All right. This is where the achievement comes in. So this particular quest line gives you an option. So if I go back and talk with him, talk with Walren again, you can actually skip this portion of the quest because you would find out it was a joke. However, if you bring him the thousand logs, then I believe you get the achievement, the hidden achievement. Now, I just so happen to have a little over 1100 logs in my resource storage. So I'm going to quick save right here. I don't know if I can give him the logs directly from my resource storage or if I have to bring them physically in my inventory. So I've already done a quick save. Let me talk to him real quick and see if I can turn these in. Okay, so apparently we have to bring the, the 1,000 logs to him because I've just opened this dialogue and he's... We're asking him to make sure this is clear. You weren't pranking me with the logs, right? What do you mean? The wolves are... Yeah, you got me. I was just messing around, but there's something I'd like to help with, actually. Okay, so <clears throat> he's got a whole other thing that's going to go on, and we're going to cover that in a little bit. But what I want to do is I want to get these thousand logs and see if we can turn them in to get this achievement. All right, so I have reloaded. We're back. You can see I've still got the bring thousand logs. I'm going to run back to my storage and grab those logs. Let me find my donkey here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my custom settings to allow me to carry unlimited weight. That way I can carry all thousand logs. But let me go grab those real quick and see how this particular portion of the quest plays out. I'll be right back. Alrighty, folks, I am back. I have the thousand logs there. Of course, as you can see, I've had to do, you know, infinity weight to be able to do that. <laughs> Without that, I'm not exactly sure how you would turn these in. You'd have to literally go and stack all these logs here and everything. So anyway, all right, bring us a thousand logs. Razkolnikov, you're back. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what that word is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's what you asked for, a thousand logs. Are you serious? I thought that was the most obvious of jokes. Did you actually do it? J joke? Do you have any idea how much it cost me? <laughs> uh, let's see. None. It should be impossible. Are you insane? Alrighty, we got two options. Uh, you're the one who's insane. Who does something like that to another person? Well, apparently I am insanely stupid at that. Uh, let's see. Let's go with number one. And who just blindly completes such an absurd task? Well, there is that. <clears throat> I think I'm going to be sick. I can't believe you actually did this. Ha ha. The tale of your gullibility should spread worldwide. 
Uh, to be extra clear, I won't be building any maze with those logs, not even a palisade. Uh, I've made up the wolf threat completely. Oh my, you're one of a kind. My goodness, <laughs> holy cow, that was something else. Continue. Uh, let's see, give me those logs, I'll put them aside, and we'll continue. Alrighty, there we go. I just got the achievement Lumberjacked. And that was the hidden achievement, Steam achievement for Medieval Dynasty. Now, <clears throat> I don't really want to lose my thousand logs because I plan on doing some more building, but I did get the achievement. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to reload, I'm going to drop the logs, and then I'm going to re-talk to him to find out that it was a joke. Alrighty, so there's my thousand logs on the floor or on the ground. And I am actually gonna talk to him and we should go through this and make sure that he is pulling a practical joke on us. And then that will allow us to continue the storyline with him. What's troubling you, Rudolph? Uh, just to make, th make things clear, you were pranking me with those logs, right? What do you mean? The wolves are... Yeah, you got me. I was just messing around, but there is something I'd like your help with. I need you to kill my cow. Or, oh my gosh. <laughs> right? Is it sentenced for treason? Uh, probably collaborated with those wolves, huh? I'm afraid this time it's not a joke. Uh, we bought this cow a few years back. Her name is um, Marilla. She stopped giving milk a while ago. My wife insists that we butcher her because soon the meat will become inevitable. But I, I just can't. Uh, she feels like a part of our family now. Kids grew up along with her. Uh, we're all sharing memories together. You share memories with a cow? Uh, don't be like that. Uh, you know what I mean. Will you put her down? Just do it out of my sight. Uh, no problem. I don't have feelings for food. Uh, I don't want to kill your cow, man. I'm kind of like in number two. I don't want to kill your cow. <laughs> I don't want to be the reason that your kids are pissed off because the cow is gone. <laughs> Let's go with number two. I don't want to kill your cow, man. Uh, tell that to my wife. She keeps pushing me, pushing and pushing, and I j I'm just not able to do it. Okay, let me see what I can do. Alrighty, we got to go and talk to Amanda, which I'm assuming she is going to be in town here. Around these buildings. Where is Amanda? Not there. Miss Amanda. Here we go, Amanda. Hello. Hello, are you Walren's wife? I, excuse me, hello, you are, you're Walren's wife, I present. That's me, Amanda, and you are? My name is Rasimir. I'm Jordan's nephew, or rather, I was. I'm sorry, honey, I've never met your uncle, but Walren and him sure were, ver were close friends. What can I help you with? I'm actually here to help you with your problem. Walren told me about Marla. Marla. Uh, let's see. Oh, are you going to help this big baby with slaughtering it? Well, I'm going to say no. No. So you're just as useless as him. Why don't... <laughs> why don't you do it yourself then? What do you mean? Why don't you kill the cow? You're clearly the one bothered with it. And why would I? She is just... It's a man's job. My mother used to kill chickens all the time when I was little. Of course, I could do it as well. But he should be the one to learn how to deal with tough choices, hard decisions. Walrond is too soft for this world. Did he ever tell you did he ever tell you what him and Jordan did for a living? Yeah, they were traveling merchants of some sort. Why do you ask? No reason. Listen, I might be out of line, but I don't think you should force your husband. I don't think you should force your husband like that. You are out of line, young man, and I 
I don't know anybody that would get attached to a farm animal like that. It's not weakness, it's compassion. And it should be cherished, not punished. But he's, he's so, eh, you're right. Uh, he's just the way he is. And I do love him for it. I guess we'll manage without meat this season. Money is tight. Money is tight at the moment. I'm sure you'll, we have two options, so I'm sure you'll get by. You have each other, and that's something no money can buy. Or number two, let me help you with that. I know my way around a bow and spear. Uh, let's see. Let's go with number two. That way we can kind of at least help them out some. Do you really mean that? That would be an enormous aid. Of course. How much meat do you need? I'm sure 30 pieces will suffice. I'll be back with dinner. Alrighty, so we need 30 pieces of meat for the Unigoth Story 4. So I'm going to go and grab my 1,000 logs that I left out here. And we're going to take, I can take those back to my resource storage so I can use those for building later. And where did I leave my donkey? There she is. And then I can grab that meat for the Unigoth Story 4. So let me go do that real quick. I'm probably going to sleep the night, make it daytime. And I'll be back in just a moment. All right, so I have uh, put the logs back in my resource storage. I have set my unlimited weight back to normal. And I've got the 30 meat, as you can see up there in the top right for Amanda. And we've slept the night, so it's daytime. So now let's head back to Tootkey so we can actually advance the Unigoth Story 4 quest. All righty, here we are back in Tootkey. Looks like I need to eat and drink real quick. There we go. Let's go find Amanda. Looks like she's going to be in the hut here. There she is, Miss Amanda. Hello. I've got your meat. <clears throat> Thank you, Rasmir. You've done us a tremendous favor, and I'm not talking just about the meat. I am happy to help, Amanda. Here, take this for your work. I hope it will be useful. I'm sure it will. Goodbye. Alrighty, so now we got to go talk to Walrund. It looked like she gave us some potions. Yeah, she gave us some uh, potions of health. So it's going to give us plus 50 health for two minutes. So it'll add 50 more health onto what I have. So it's not a healing potion. Uh, let's see. Where is Walrund? Everybody's headed out to the barn here. Mr. Walrund, there we go. How did it go? Uh, let's see, what would you say if I told you that Marila is all well and Amanda is happy with it? I would call you a liar, kiss you, and propose. <laughs> uh, you better make me the happiest man in the valley then, hubby. <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, how did you accomplish that? I guess you'll never know. I can live with that, kiddo. Thank you, Rapunzel. <laughs> Thank you a million times over. What about a story about the pack, then? Naturally, a deal is a deal, my friend. Before meeting Jordan and the pack, I was... Hmm, I guess you could call me a gambling artist or a professional dice player. Uh, but it would be simpler to call me... A common crook. I was traveling from tavern to tavern where I would cheat using my special dice and earn some money. I was pretty decent with my act, but Jordan saw through me right away. His eyes were burning a hole in in my palm while I was switching the dice, and when I dared to glance in his way, he smiled at me. Even though he knew I was cheating and lost playing with me, he didn't say anything paid up, shook my hand, and left the table. I was intrigued like never before, so I followed him. I saw him meeting up with the rest of the pack, so I followed them too. I don't even know when I lost sight of Sambor, but suddenly he grabbed me from behind. That giant picked me up by the throat with one hand, threatened to kill me if he sees me one more time. That must have been terrifying. Smart thing to do would be to run and stay away from those people. 
but I've never been a smart man, so I kept on following them. Next time, Sambor added beating to the threat. I couldn't see for two weeks out of my left eye, but it didn't. St- but I didn't stop. They were more and more annoying, annoyed with me, so they just started to ignore me instead. It didn't bother them that I was following them. Then it stopped bothering them that I was riding near them. Then with them. So I started camping with them as well. Eat with them. Finally, one day, when they entered a tavern, I sat with them at the table and Jordan just passed me a cup and a plate. Just like that, he did for everyone else. Unigaz asked me about my name and that was it. I was part of the family. So you were like a stray dog that didn't want to go away. (laughs) Exactly that. I know how stupid it sounds, pathetic really, but look back, but looking back, that was the best decision I've ever made. Sure, they were making fun of me from time to time, treating me differently at first. I was the youngest of them all. But after all, I really felt one of the, I felt like one of them and I knew they loved me. That's really beautiful. I'll never forget my first mission. We were tricking we were tricking a countess into signing over her mansion to the orphanage. It was amazing. I felt I felt ecstatic and just at the same time. A noble crook without any guilt but the sense of achievement, and I did good, even Jordan's right hand said so. You mean Unigost? Unigost? Well, he and Jordan were certainly like brothers, but I believe it was always clear for everybody that it was Castrol who was second in command. Castrol? Who's that? They didn't tell you about her? Well, then I won't as well. It's not my story to tell. You should go and talk to Unigost. I will. It was, a, it was an immense pleasure meeting you, Walrond. And for me as well, Jordan would have liked you. I, I can promise you that. Till next time, Ratatouille. <laughs> Till next time. Well, alrighty, there we go. We're actually learning about another character that I've never heard of in the game and with this story of the pact. Very cool. Well, alrighty, I think we're going to call this an episode. We've gotten uh, the Unigaz story four. We've advanced it a little bit further. We got our achievement for Lumberjacked, which uh, is the hidden achievement. So the spoiler section in the video. But anyway, don't forget, uh, if you are liking these episodes, to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel out a lot. Also, you can find the links to my Discord, Buy Me a Coffee, Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, all down in the description below. So feel free to go and visit those, those sites. And we will see you in the next one. You take care and happy hunting.